welcome back to the dumbest modeling channel on all of YouTube, Pitstain Hobbies. We're back today with our lovely Agor Models Japanese A6M0 Fighter Pack 10. The boxes are getting bigger. There's more IKEA furniture in here and also beautiful bits of Zero Fighter outer skin model goodness. Uh, if you want to get yours, go to the link below to Agora Models. Uh, you can also click the link down to my Amazon affiliate link thing where I get all my tools and supplies. Uh, they throw me like a few cents <laughs> if you buy something, maybe. Uh, if you have a big purchase in mind, click my link below and then go make your big purchase. Thank you. Either way, look at this. Okay, pack 10. Let's see, we've got some, uh, we've got some IKEA parts here. That's for the display stand. Uh, some more IKEA in the bottom. And let's go to our instructions. We want stage 78. That's right here. Ooh, hello. Hello, stage 78. Nice to meet you. Let's just put this under the workbench. It's like a cooking show. You know, let's just put that down underneath. Save that for later. There we go. Pitstain Hobbies, the doggy bag of modeling video shows. Here we go. Uh, empty bag. Okay. Got some uh, screws here. So this model, uh, none of the screw bags are labeled. You just have to sort of zoom in on the PDF and guess, which is sort of fun. It's a nice little game we have to play. Let's see here. 7802 screws. There are three of them, and they're flanged. And then we got two other totally different types of screws in this bag, which are 7803. And then these are 7804. So let's see here. 78-2-3. 78-4. There we go. Every part works a little different. It gets a little weird sometimes trying to... Like, you, you kind of get used to one standard, and then it changes. And here is, oh man, oh look at that, look at that little, look at that little tampo right there. That is nice. That looks lovely. <clears throat> so we're going to get this part here. Scrolling into our instructions, we now need the, uh, the front right side of the fuselage, outer skin, housing, whatever. There we go. And we're going to gonna put these two together right here I gotta get these two together that would be incredibly bad no it's a great idea let's put them together and we're gonna use a couple of our 7802 screws which are the flanged ones which makes sense and if there's a spare screw for each type then these are all we will need Grab our little Phillips head here. What is this, a pH, pH zero? Do we want a pH one? Let me see if that fits. Yes, pH one fits. And dip it in a little, little trace and uno oil. Yeah, I don't know if that translation holds up in court, your honor, but there we go. All right, get a couple of these screws in here. I am dying to see how this turns out. This is going to be awesome. I mean, pack 10 on an Agora model, you're like, you can see the finish line. You're pretty close. It's getting exciting, and there we are. Look at that. So nice. And now that we have that, we've got to bring, bring the rest of the model over here. Let's get this out of the way. And... This is how my mom used to get me to eat when I was a baby. The plane's going to fly. It's gonna, the plane's going to land. Open wide. I don't know. Everyone, I, I, is that only an American thing, or did you guys do that over in the UK also? I really want to know. But we are going to um, get this onto here. Now, this should be interesting. Um, we're going to do a bit of a, a finagling just to make sure, don't force anything. There's, there we go. There's some pegs and some posts. And then there's a positive click. 
and uh, less so in the rear. Okay, there's some wires in the way for sure. There's definitely some wires in the way right in here. Let's bring them in. Bring her in. Okay, so we got to push those. What are you? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Insert horizontal stables in the hole in the right panel. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to get these wires out of the way here. Oh. That wire right there. I think, I think therefore I am not. I think this is where potentially a couple people are getting tripped up right here. There we go. Yep. Okay, we got another click. <clears throat> okay. I I think we're good. I think yeah, it's not bad. Okay, now we gotta get a 7703 screw in the front here. <clears throat> and then a a few, uh, a couple of 7804s and another 7803 back here. Oh boy. 78, uh, three. Let's just, just drop that out of there completely. That's fine. You need a little bit of oil. I'm gonna just dip our wick a little bit in that oil. Uh, no, that is not, that's a 78.4, this is a 78.3, yeah, that's fine. We've been known to make a mistake or two in our day, but that screw clearly did not want to go in its home. Okay, that one's tight. This is getting very exciting. Very exciting. 78. Dash not three. Is that what you say for zero is not? I think that's it. Yep. There we go. Okay. Whew. Uh, wait a second. I don't think that's the right screw, is it? Is that the right screw? 7804. Yeah. I don't know if we're going to use all these screws. I guess we are. Let's see here. These are little screws. Something just moved in my garbage pail. It was very unsettling. Ah, it's like there's a there's a little ghost. Ghost in my garbage pail. Don't like it. We got this other 7803 screw which is slightly bigger. And that's going to go right in here.
need like a flashlight in here. Let's see. I think that's okay. Oh, if that flashlight falls while I'm recording, it's going to be noisy. Yeah. Okay. That's good. There we go. Everything still moves. Some of these things will not. If they're not servo actuated, they're not going to be maneuverable while powered off. Um, let's get a couple of these screws back in that baggie. Woo, okay. That was a big stage. Look at that. Looks good. Looks very good. Looks very nice. Yeah, that, that lines up nicely against there. Colors match really well. Okay, and just be careful with your landing gear doors when you're putting this thing up and down. Well, when you're just, when you're putting it down, I guess. Now I need 7503. Let me go find that part and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got our little metal tail panel here. There we go. And we literally just... Uh, Push it into place right there. Okay. I'm just like, if we, if we glue this thing in and we have any kind of issue, this is going to restrict us from dismantling this part. So I'm not sure yet. I might, is this magnetic? No, this is non-ferrous die cast metal. Okay, uh, let me think for a minute. I'll be right back. Okay, so we uh, we had to do a little thing. Uh, this is what I did. Okay, oh God, all the cables everywhere. Okay, you, you, uh, you see the drum with the stone bit. Okay. So the screw that comes through right here protrudes by just like a millimeter maybe or, or one point something millimeters, very minimal. But it was not allowing this to just sit nice and flush on there. And with that ground down ever so carefully, this panel sits in place and it's, it's, it's not easily going anywhere. And we can still pop it off if we need to God forbid something goes sideways and we have to take this thing apart. Maybe we pinched a wire. I don't think I pinched a wire, but, you know, who knows? So that's what I'm doing. I'm just press fitting that for now. If I determine it falls out on its own at some point or when doing maneuvers when the thing's built, yeah, I'll add a little dab of glue. But I will not use CA glue. I'll probably just use like a rubber cement um, type of glue so that I could pry it off there if I need to after the fact. Now... I grab these two bits, assuming we would need them soon, and we do. So, gray side down. We're going to slide. Slide them on here. Right? Slidey slide. There we go. Okay. All right. Oh, oh they just, they just kind of snap into place. Nice. Look at that. That was easy. Uh, oh. <laughs> if I determine that this panel falls off too easy, I may put a little glue on it. Like I said, just uh, I'm just I'm just hedging my bets here, because I don't have a uh, like a Todd My Partworks type website to use for references on any pitfall, not pitfalls, but just things to look out for in the build. Um, like, you know, you showed me shoving those wires down because there's a post that goes between these two sides of the uh, fuselage outer skin that, that have to bolt together. You don't want to get wires between them. It's pretty much your goal in life with any part work model is don't pinch the wires. And we're done with that. Okay, stage 79, installing the lifting device for the display pedestal. Oh, joy. All right. 
Okay. Time for some Ikea parts. It's not. <laughs> uh, I just, I much prefer building the model to the uh, display base, but the display base is an integral and necessary part of this model uh, because of the functionality of making the plane look like it's, you know, taking off and landing and, and, and fighting and stuff. Let's find, uh, it's 84. Uh, here's 79. There we go. So we got here. Okay. Got some of these bits. Let's get them out of their turtle death. Let's see here. Plastic, plastic. I love plastic. Plastic is plastic is the best thing ever. Can't live a life without plastic. Got some uh, some big IKEA screws and some small IKEA screws. There we are. Doo -doo -doo. And got some uh, metal bits. Some more plastic. Oh, there's another metal bit in here. D make sure you check these plastic end caps for bracketries before you chuck them in the garbage. And then our tissue paper. My wife's always thoughtful. She always like has tissue paper handy to put in a gift bag, you know, things like that. I don't know why. What is it? Why is that, that? That that's always her thing. I don't know. And I'll just get all these pieces out here so we can see them. There we are. And there we are. And we got another hole here. I wonder what that's for. And uh, do, do, let's see. I don't even have that part here. I'll be right back. Alrighty, just a little tap tap. So we're gonna take those two little metal rods, tap them into this part that we've been holding aside. We're gonna take this little, now this is a, a slippery nylon. Uh, it's sort of like kind of self-lubricating to an extent. Not to say I'm not gonna probably um, add a tiny bit of lube to these. Can never have too much lube. Just add a little schmoo. A bit of our silicone stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that slides. It's even nicer now. I'm going to take this little tower, push it down on there, and then, and then, <clears throat> then we're going to take our plastic rod here, a little acrylic, actually, acrylic rod. Huh. There's a little bit of flashing inside that hole, but that's fine. She moves okay. Don't grease up your acrylic rod. This sticks out of the base. You don't want to see any uh, weird schmoo on that thing. So that's going to that's gonna raise and lower uh, one of the wings uh, for the model. And then we need 7908. <clears throat> that's going to be these smaller screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they gave us eight. And we're just going to label that bag 79 8. I don't, have enough, I don't have fine enough handwriting for the 08. And we're just going to get six screws into these six holes here. And I'll be right back. Alrighty, we're going to get our previously assembled little, uh, little micro switch doodad here. <clears throat> and you get it slide into this little slot here, and when we slide it down, push in on the bottom switch. Just make sure it safely goes past. There we go. So that's nice. Then we're going to use one of our small IKEA screws. Okay. There we are. And get that buttoned into place. Bingo, just like that. Perfect. And now, oh, okay. We gotta take this and attach it to the uh, other part of the IKEA base. I will be right back. Alrighty, we've retrieved our previously assembled part of the display base with a bracket. And we're just gonna slide that right into place there. And the little brackets can go there. And then uh, four, not six, 
and four. Four IKEA screws. One IKEA screw. Ha ha ha. <laughs> uh, we could just we could just loosely place these things for now. And we're gonna get these four screwed in. I mean, I don't know if anyone really needs a video tutorial on this. Besides, don't tighten them all the way down. Get the thing roughly into place. Get the other screws started in there. There we go. Just, just barely snug to start with. I like this uh, this vessel Japanese screwdriver built on Japanese fighter. This is a great screwdriver. It's got this little knurled thing on here to give you some better uh, better fine control, and then you can kind of line up and smush these together, and then then tighten them down. Look, IKEA furniture going to IKEA furniture. Um, Torque spec is gut and tight. That's it. Not not super not super super spiffy there. You like how I had to lay that brand side up? I'm such a prima donna. Oh boy, there we go. Okay, so that's good. What else you got for me? Oh, stage complete. There we go. So that's where we're at. Assembling the right horizontal tail, wing, and display pedestal. Let's see here. Ooh, we got wingy parts. Hold on. Let's get out stage eighty. Uh, nope, nope. Is that it? There's 80. Let's see what we get here. Cabbage. And then this one is plastic, and this one is metal. Okay, that's good. We got another little, uh, another little uh, bomb rack and bomb, or a hard point. And a bomb. Very nice. Okay, so that will, uh, that will, yeah, that'll connect to the bottom of the wing. Let's see what you got for me, stage 80. We got going on here. Okay, we got to get all this out of the way, and uh, we need the plane back. So let's get these over here, this, with this, and the IKEA screws. Put that aside. Uh, I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we got the bottom of the wing out. Now you gotta make sure, like, this thing likes to flop out a little. So you wanna make sure you get that in there. Okay, nice and nice and snug. There's no coming back from this, everybody. We're gonna take some crazy glue. And we've got five posts. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna get just a dab of glue on each one. Just a tiny dab will do you. Okay, and then while holding this part in, we're going to get it obviously into these three holes here, and there's two more under there that you can't see, and we're going to put that right there, okay, and we're going to hold that, or if you're lazy like me, you're going to grab a little clamp, And let your clamp do the talking and have the clamp hold it. Think like that. Yeah, that's good. Right about there for the clamp. And we're just going to let that dry for a few minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're done waiting for that to dry. And now, uh, no, put the glue down. Don't, no, no glue. Top panel, we're just going to press in. There's five pegs, five pegs and five holes. Should be uh, fairly elementary, my dear Watson. And we're just going to squeeze it on there. Hmm. Seems to be fairly well attached. Uh, still, those still move. Okay. So there we go. Look at that. That looks pretty good. Yeah, it's fit together really nicely. Yeah. Not bad at all. Yeah, okay. I'm liking this thing. This is a big plane. 
can't imagine, like, a bomber. They should do Agora. Do a B-17. No. Do a B-29. No. Let's just go right past World War. Do a B-52 Strato Fortress. Oh, yeah. Like a B-52H or J. Whatever the latest one. Oh, yeah. B-52. America. Yeah, here we go. Um, plane is going away again now. Because we're coming back. Uh, with the Ikea furniture. Okay. Here we are. This furniture is not Ikea, FYI. Um, I am only making this reference to prefabricated furniture made of medium density fiberboard. That is my, uh, my, official, <laughs> my official disclaimer. Okay, so we're going to take our little speaker assembly and we're going to put it in the hole. Keep the wires out of the way. And that's that. Yeah. A couple of them. Boom, ba boom. A couple of those screws. Grab our fancy Japanese screwdriver and get those. Get that one started. Make sure your wire is not getting pinched. Get that other one going. The wire's like jumping towards the screws. Okay. Just snug. That's all we need. This isn't some 12 inch JL Audio, you know, double voice coil subwoofer. It's not going to vibrate all that much. And somehow the speaker is still flop, whatever. It's fine. Do that, and we're done with that stage. And stage 81, assembling the drop tank. Ooh, dro I forgot about the drop tank. Ooh, 81, where are you? Is this 81? This is 81. More Ikea furniture. And a drop tank. Sweet. I love me some drop tank. Uh, there was a recent announcement that the, uh, the Air Force is making... Stealth drop tanks for the F-22 Raptor. Imagine an F-22 Raptor going into combat in the Pacific in World War II. Oh, boy. I mean, honestly, they'd run out of ammo way faster than they'd run out of uh, other planes to shoot down. So there's, oh, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of a sprue nub. Oh, no, that's not, that is supposed to be there. Sorry, that's like a little winglet. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves, Ian. Follow the instructions. We're going. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna squeeze these two halves together. Uh, doesn't I don't think we'll need any glue. Pretty sure these will probably just nice, nice toit snap fit. Perfect. And then we put on the nose. And this has a top. That is the that is the fuel door. And there is a tiny bit of flashing right here that I do want to remove. So I'll take my little uh, Gum Primer Racer Plus glass nanofile. It's glass. It's pretty cool. It's also easy to break. I don't know how it survived this long with me. And we're just going to give it a little rub. There we go. Snap it on. And we have a drop tank. Ah, sweet. All right. That's our drop tank. And then they want us. Oh, they want they want us to get out us another plate. Let's get these little plastic corners off of here. Throw this throw this plastic bag in the other plastic bag for garbage. Can't live without plastic. Lots and lots of uh, nut inserts on there. Let's go get our other panel and uh, a plate and some screws, and I'll be right back. All right, got our plates here. Um, the one with the two holes right here, that goes up right there. The one with the two holes here and here, that goes up right there. Get in there. Okay. Okay. All right. And then this plate, one, two, three, four, goes right over here. <clears throat> and we got to put these four screws in. 
Uh, again, I am going to just get them started and then I will tighten them and I'll be right back. Okay, all tightened up and nowhere to go. Um, it's getting more rigid. The more, I mean, once this thing's fully done, forget it. It's gonna, it's gonna be a, a, a bit of a fortress. Uh, stage 82 now, we gotta build another lifting uh, gearbox assembly. Shmoo, standing by. Always have your shmoo. Pit stains, silicone, part shmoo, my favorite. No, I wish I had my own brand of shmoo. If I, if I ever get really big, everybody, I swear to you, I promise, I'm gonna repackage cheap silicone grease in some pit stain hobbies packaging and charge you $9.99 for it, plus shipping and handling, um, and sell my own brand of shmoo. That would be awesome. I'll even maybe include shmoo syringes, uh, shmoo squirters, so to speak. There we go. So in uh, pack 82, we have a small electric motor, very generic, standard little guy. Was in many of your toys as a kid and is in probably many of your toys as an adult. I'm not talking about those kind of toys. I mean, you know, adult, you know, nostalgia collectibles, not to get your minds out of the gutters. Sorry, children. Um, okay. Oh, shoot. Okay, watch out. All your shafts and gears are flying. Got shafts and gears flying all over the place. There we go. We got three shafts. We got this doohickey. A few small gears and a big gear. Let's see what we're going to do here. Come on. Come on, PDF. There we go. We're going to take our three little metal shafts and shove them into these three little metal holes right here. Meh. Let's, uh, let's give those a little tappy tap. Perfect. Next, tappy tap. And then in here, no, I'm not using the Knipex pliers as much as everybody wants me to. There we go. <clears throat> All tappied in. And they're kind of, yeah, a little staggered. It's fine. Should they be even? No, they shouldn't. This one should be sticking up more. And that one less, and that one less, because see the studs that they go into are differing heights. And now we're going to take our motor, put the wire through this. I can hear the dog barking in the background. Put her in, put her in a little motor, little motor motel there. And then, and then, then we're going to take this fella with the flat side of that bar facing that way. Shove it in the hole. What is Maddie barking at? Oh my gosh. Okay. Dog's just the barking. Dog's gonna dog. Okay. Get three different gears. Two are the same. One is bigger. Here's the two little ones. Here's the bigger one. We're gonna put the bigger one on the first shaft. And we're going to put the two littler ones on the other shafts. And then we're going to take the big, big gear. And it's got a little D-shaped hole. So we're going to get that aligned. I want to hold that shaft so, so this line, the back of the D, is like perfectly vertical there. And uh, this is a little finicky. Here we go. Is that in? Yeah, it's it's making contact. Contact. Ah, there we go. Okay. So now that it's making contact, now we're gonna take our schmoo. Hold on a second here. Let me zoom in so we could all all see this a little better. Okay. So that's the bigger of the three gears, and then these are the two smaller ones, and there's the giant gear, and that's how everything should look, just like that. So that's a gear reduction system. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little schmoo right there, and then a little more schmoo right there, and a little schmoo right there. We're just going to we're just gonna, gonna lube her up liberally. I don't know how much motion this thing's going to have, but... She's all gooped up good. Ugh. Ugh. 
Don't touch any of that. Note, applying a small amount of grease or lubricant to the gears will help make them run more smoothly. Yeah, you don't say. I lubed everything. There we go. We take the Agora instructions and just amplify everything they recommend with the grease by a thousand. Massive schmoo. Then we're going to snap on the gear cover. This is going to be the tricky part to get this thing in. So we're going to do, we're just going to gently tap that together. And now it's perfectly fit. Give that a little tap. Okay, so all the snaps hold it closed. I do recommend a tiny tap. <laughs> just um, here, let me let me show you where I, how I tapped it. You just put that edge on something, and then just little tap, 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 and the camera got all shaky. Of course. So there's our uh, lifter mechanism. Nicely done. Stage complete. 83 assembling the limit switch. We. Got another limit switch? Huh, let's see. 83. There we are. Do, 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 do. Mana, mana. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. Damn, the guy's gotten to me again. Okay, we got a couple of screws here. A couple of little plastic plates. We got that thing. And there we go. A couple of metal rods. Bunch of little screws and these little mechanism, these little limiting switches. I think this is like our third set of limit switches we've built so far. Really? Have we built three sets of limit switches? I guess so. I don't know. Suppose. Whatever. It's fine with me. Was there? There's two at the front. Is there one at the back? I think there is one at the back. Yeah, there's probably three of these things holding the plane up. Yeah, that's that's that makes sense. That 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 fits with what I was thinking. So we got to uh, yeah, we're gonna take these two thingamajobbers and we're gonna plug thing one into thing two, right there. And then and then and no and then. And then we're gonna take these in this orientation, place them on here and screw them down to the backing plate with four of these little uh, countersink head screws. I'll be right back. Okay, and our limit switch is assembled and we're done with stage 83. They want you to get that cut corner as close to that little protrusion as possible. I pushed it as far as I could. So hopefully that, that, that's good enough. And then uh, 84, <clears throat> Is is that the last? Wow, that's the last. That's the last pack of bit of parts in this pack. So this will be the end of pack ten. Oh, only two to go after this. Cray cray. Get these brackets out. Nothing in that end. Nothing in that end. You can nest these together to take up less room in your garbage pail. And then, come on. Never had such a hard time tearing off tissue paper. There we go. Oh. Ooh, a little, a little sawdust schmoo on there. There we go. All right, there's that beauty. And we'll dump out the rest of these bits. And we got some more IKEA screws and some little black screws and a little uh, little microphone jack. It's pretty much kind of sort of what it is. Is pretty much. Um, oh, these are silicone jacketed. These are super flexy. They're so fun. They're like fun. I'm going to play with these for a while. Um, and we're going to do something with that. And uh, maybe maybe we aren't. Let's see here. Uh, we're going to... Okay. We're going to take this panel. A lot of sawdust. Uh, and we're going to just kind of slap it. Arr! Playing, playing wood Legos here. There we go. Slap that on there. Um, there we go. Perfect. You know, <laughs> when math doesn't work, brute force wins. Let's see here. 
rip that open. Uh, we're not going to need that in Ziploc. Sorry, Ziploc bag. You will never Ziploc again. And uh, I guess we're yeah taking a bracket and bolting her on with uh, four more of these little uh, these little guys. Oh, four, not three, not five. There we go. That's more like it. I'm going to get those screwed in, and I'll be right back. Okay, and our brackets are screwed in, and that is it for stage 84. That's the end of pack 10. This pack went pretty quickly, actually. A lot of big parts, though, so, you know, that explains that. And the Zero is looking absolutely stunning so far. A little pilot's little foot thing there, and that just flips up. And then uh, it flips back down. And there we go. It does what it wants. Yeah, I do what I want. Yeah, yeah. It's my body. I, I make my own decisions. Yes. And there we are. I don't know how we're going to shove this pilot in here. That's a tiny little opening in there. Oof. Oh, boy. They built the building around him. No, it's fine. He'll fit. We'll make him fit. Because that's what we do on this channel. But, yeah, the plane is looking, ow, absolutely beautiful. Careful. It's a little sharp. Um... This, I'm assuming, yeah, that little panel in the bottom is what's going to hold these in. And that's going to be nice. The paint markings on this are very nice. The tampos, whatever you want to call them, my spittle. This panel is uh, holding <laughs> for now. And uh, again, uh, Zero Fighter is awesome. Click the link below to Agora Models to get your own Zero Fighter. I think this is a really, this is a sleeper of a kit. This thing is so cool. You have no idea. You just see a picture like, yeah, it's a World War II Zero Fighter. Eh. It's very cool. There's a lot going on in here. It's, it's pretty awesome. Uh, that being said, like I said, click the links below to Agora. Click the links below to my Amazon store. I have a link to buy me a coffee if anyone wants to help, uh, help pay for the Miller Lights. And uh, stay tuned. We're building more part works. We got the Aston Martin uh, No Time to Die DB5 from Agora. I hope to be starting on Wet Nelly pretty soon. Uh, I know Wayne just got his, but he always gets his stuff a little bit before everybody. So maybe in a couple weeks I'll hear something about Wet Nelly. Uh, fingers crossed. And then obviously we, we really want to do the Vantage. We were, I want to do all the Bond cars. I love James Bond. It's, it's just, it's, I grew up on it. So yeah, either way, uh, back on topic. Yeah, the Zero Fighter is really sick. Um, if you can afford it, I would totally take the dive. Dive bomber, get it? Da, da. But um bump. All right. That was a joke. Trademark. Joke. Uh, thanks for coming. We'll see you next time on Pit Stain Hobbies. Adios, everybody.